Hey, what's up everybody? It's David here with Tough Guys TV, and on this episode, we are checking out the R185 Circular Saw by Evolution Tools. Now this is the CCSX version. It comes in a kit with a pair of saw horses, and it's set up as a track saw, so stay tuned for this one. You guys are gonna enjoy it. going to start with the unboxing. I'm going to show everything that comes in the package and then that way you can get this thing set up as well and be ready to rock and roll. As always, there'll be links down in the description for this saw and this in particular package so you can pick one up for yourself. Don't forget to check us out on social media at Tough Guys TV everywhere if you want to see what else we have going on. Thank you so much. Let's get right into this one. And all right, let's start with unboxing. This is the R185 CCSX. That's the model number. It is a seven and a quarter inch TCT circular saw by Evolution. As always, this is their multi-material cutting saw and this one has the track with it. So I'm super excited to be trying this out and to be able to share it with you guys. And we jump right into the blade. And these blades in my experience have been awesome from day one. I've tried two of their miter saws now and there's videos on the channel for both of these. I highly recommend that if you're in the market for a miter saw, check out what Evolution has going on. And it looks like they have the track pieces here in the top. It looks like they have their logo and then these pieces kind of feel a little bit grippy. Feels like sturdy aluminum, high quality. There's kind of a rubber pad on the backside or maybe foam. Three of these sections all inside. And in my experience in the past, Evolution flat packs everything. So you do have to assemble some things. And that's actually something that I like about their tool line. You kind of get to know the product very well. So we will go through all of this as well so that you know exactly what you're working with. And this is for their three year warranty. You do have to register that online so make sure you save your documentation. There was a little tiny part in there that fell out that was free. So we're gonna hold on to that. It looks like it may have been a part of this bag here. That looks to be a vacuum attachment. All right, down here we do have the saw. Now this is not cordless. It is a corded saw, as you can see by the cord. Very sturdy cord. One of the things I don't like about corded tools, besides the fact that there's a cord, is when these cords are very rigid and it's hard to kind of keep them managed when you're doing a project. So we'll see how this evolves, no pun. And here's everything that was inside of that little bag. I'm assuming that little threaded lock that was in there was from this bag. This looks like for a vacuum attachment. Have another little component here. This little bag has two tiny screws and a Allen wrench and then this washer. The first thing we'll do is we'll get the blade installed and we'll go over the process of setting up all these components before we start testing it out. Okay, now let's go over some basic functionality of this. It is pretty much like any other circular saw you may have owned, although this is not a worm drive model. So it's designed for right hand, left hand up here at the top. It's got a nice rubber finish on this part, very grippy. Uh, same with here. It looks like in the instructions, they do have a model where there is a safety button. Now this in particular one, does not have the safety. So you just pull this and this thing is going. You've got a little lever here to adjust the lower guard if you need to manually pull that back. It's actually a nice feel to that. You've got your gauge here in the back to adjust the miter. So you have to unlock this one as well as this one here in the front. And then this will adjust to give you whatever angle you'd like to have. Now this little one here on the front actually allows you to put this in place. So you have kind of like a straight edge to cut up against and the way this hooks in, you would slide that in and then tighten this one. And now you have a straight edge to use with the saw. Now obviously this saw is a track saw so you can use it with this product here. Now this one actually comes with three panels which all link together and these are one foot each so you have three foot total. To be honest, I kind of wish that it included for four feet because I don't know, you cut a piece of plywood on the short side, but it's three feet. Now to raise and lower the depth of the actual cut that you're making, you have a lever down here, you can loosen that one, and then this raises and lowers. You've got a max cutting depth of two and a half inches with this saw. These two little adjustment knobs here actually adjust on the bottom so you can see right here where that part starts to stick out. That adjusts the tension on the track when the track is sliding through this channel 
on the bottom side of the saw. And you have one on either side, so if you're getting a little crooked, you can make that adjustment. You've got your Allen wrench tool stored nicely in a way and out of the way of your hand. And then you have your arbor lock right here, which you just press down on that when you're trying to change the blade. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. It's a pretty quick overview of this one. Uh, let's go ahead and put the blade on. Now remember, they include this multi-material blade. I can cut through nail embedded wood. Uh, it says mild steel here, aluminum wood, plastic. And just for a comparison, if you're looking at this Diablo, this is a 42, seven and a quarter. The first thing you'll notice is the arbor is smaller here than Evolution. Evolution uses a larger arbor size and they do take care of you in the box though. They include for an extra adapter so that you have that. First things here, I'm gonna take out this bolt and take off the locking ring. Now I'm gonna leave this in place back here on this blade, it has an arrow, shows you the direction it's gonna turn. On the saw, they've got a big arrow this way and another one right there. Be kinda hard to miss, but pay attention to that depending on what saw you have exactly. Put this back on now, and then the bolt. Now once you get it hand tight, you're gonna wanna use that Allen, the one from over here. Then I'm gonna press on the lock while I turn. And when you're turning it, you should feel this press in once it gets to a spot where it can actually lock in place. So you know you're good to wrench and turn it and tighten it. And it's ready to go. Now hopefully I don't have to actually mention that you should have it unplugged while you're doing this. Obviously have it unplugged, especially with this saw, it doesn't have a safety feature. So if you accidentally hit that, you're gonna be in a really bad situation. And one quick thing here is I am gonna plug this in because I wanna talk about something before we actually start using it. Evolution's other saws have a slow start feature like on their miter saws that I've used and their chop saws, they kind of slow start and then they get going. I thought this would be the same way, but it is not. When you pull the trigger, it is just ready to go. It's immediate, it's fast, be ready. All right now in this next part, we're gonna assemble the track system. So there are little grooves here on the back and this is how this thing attaches to each other like one piece to the other. On two of the sections there's these little black bars and there are little tiny screws that we're going to remove and slide these basically halfway between two sections and then tighten the little screws back down. Here's what those little tiny screws look like and they give you an Allen wrench in the box that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you hold on to for this. Now I'm just gonna loosen them and then slide them out. Now a couple of these were actually falling out inside the box and I was lucky enough to find them. So make sure that you're not throwing anything away until you have all these things. So once you've got them loose enough, you can see this just slides in and out and I can position it about halfway and then I can attach the two sides together and that is what you'd be going for. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the rest of this and then I will come back and show you the entire track all put together. All right, the track is assembled and you see a three foot here and I've got the saw sitting all the way up so you can see how it will slide on the track. When I say sitting all the way up, I mean I've got it at the max raised height so that the blade isn't actually touching the plywood and you can slide it nice and smoothly across the track. Now one quick note here, they did not include any track clamps, but Evolution does make some. Now in lieu of that, I actually have some track clamps from Mazka, and this part here at the top actually goes down into uh, the track right here. You would put this in there, you clamp down onto the piece of plywood or whatever you're using, and then it would keep your track tight to the product. Now you could also use a clamp like this if you wanted to. You just have to make sure you're able to keep the top part of it up here out of the way as the saw is coming down. So you, you can't have your saw running into the top of it, hence the reason you have a clamp like this. You might have bad luck trying to use something like this. All right, now that we have the track saw set up, let me show you what I'm actually building today to use the track saw for. So this is our temporary miter station here in that shop because we're kind of transitioning into our new build. This miter station, as you can see, I don't have anything on the sides to like make this all level. Uh, we just kind of threw something together so we had a place to use it. So I'm gonna use this piece of plywood over here to create two decks that come off either side. So I have an extended area to work with on this miter saw. So you found this scrap piece of plywood and I think it's gonna be just big enough to make one deck piece on either side of the miter saw. There we go. 
All right, now that first cut, we did not have the vacuum attachment on, so I'm gonna hook it up this time to see if we can kind of grade how well this actually collects the dust from a plywood cut. So you've got two little screws and two openings on the bracket piece. Hooks on here and here. And those are Phillips. And then they give you this quick attachment where you can plug in for most vacuums. And there you go. All right, we got these little boxes built here. So we got one on either side. I've got some weights holding down where the glue needs to set up on the back sides. The tracks all made pretty quick work of that. Now, as far as the actual track itself, the only thing I wish that maybe they had taken advantage of would have been maybe the ability to quick release or reduce the size of the track that you need. Cause maybe if you were just cutting something a lot smaller, maybe just something like 10 inches, 12 inches, whatever, you could use one of those 12 inch pieces instead of having to have the entire thing and find the tiny little Allen wrench to adjust it and take it apart. Just would have been kind of a cool idea. I feel like the power is there, stability, the ability to adjust everything you need to adjust, and overall the saw just operates really, really well. Now the last cool thing that came in this package was actually a set of saw horses. So on Evolution's website, which there'll be a link down in the description so you can get exactly this setup. This one happened to include a set of saw horses with it. Now these things are great, they're lightweight, 500 pounds or maybe not 500 pounds, maybe it's 500 kilograms per side. They have the ability for you to lock a two by four or a bigger, even a bigger board on either side so that you can have a work surface built out of it. The legs are collapsible and they are solid pieces of metal instead of like, you know, the ones that kind of fold out and spread apart the traditional metal saw horses. They even have little handles built into the top of them so you can pick them up and take them with you on the job site or throw them in the truck or move them around the shop or whatever. So I just think that's a great perk of a kit like this. So if you did need saw horses and you're looking for a track saw, it kind of hits two birds with one stone. All right, now one thing we have not done yet is actually cut some alternative materials. And if you're not aware, if I didn't already mention it, these blades and these saws are kind of built around the idea that you can cut nail embedded wood or PVC or mild steel, aluminum, things like that. I believe that this is a huge benefit to a platform like this is that you don't have to swap the blade out you know, every time you're trying to cut something different. So if you are DIY, you're just a carpenter that does various different types of work. This is a really great saw to have, you know, in your tool belt, in your tool case. I guess you couldn't really put it on your belt, huh? Anyways, let me show you. And all right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you if you're kind of on the fence or just shopping for a saw like this. I definitely think that track saws have huge value and that they serve a purpose and they are also a specific tool item that not everybody actually needs. So doing your own research and looking at the types of projects you're gonna be doing, whether it's DIY or maybe you're a framer, maybe you're a professional carpenter, if those are things that you're doing, hopefully this is just a resource in your tool bag to help make the decision on the right tools for you. And if you'd like to check out what else Evolution has, there'll be links down in the description, of course, but they're also great on social media, whether you're in the US or in the UK, they make a whole lineup of powerful saws that are versatile and very usable across a various array of different industries. Thanks so much, as always, for coming back to the channel. I appreciate it. At Tough Guys TV on social media if you're interested, or shirts and hats and stuff are available. There's also a link for that below. Thanks so much, see you in the next video.